Right then guys, this is where the gaming setup starts. Walking into my room right now. And this is the setup. I've also got another room where my brother has moved out. There was a spare room. So I actually have my gaming computer and setup in one room. Then my bed and everything else is in another room. So we'll get into that. But I thought I'll start off with the best things first. We'll start over here. And this is sort of just like a junk corner. I think every gamer, every person in their bedroom has one of these. So you can see all the randomness down here. That's actually my tripod, which I use for a fair few videos. But what have we got around here? We've got like an old microphone box and I'll control the box. I'll go through some equipment as well because I use these wireless go-to microphones for literally everything. So every bit of content you see, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, these microphones, they're wireless, they're really good. I recommend them. That's just a standard Xbox controller right there. And in here, I think that's an old Canon camera. I don't really use it to be honest because it was really cheap and iPhone cameras are 10 times better. So I would just stick with your iPhone if you have one. Then right here is my light that when I used to do gaming videos, obviously for the face cam, you need a good lighting. So I have one light here. Then moving over here, I have the other light when I used to do face cam. And I've got a painting here, which I'm yet to put up because like I was saying, my brother's recently moved out. So this room has recently become available. So I haven't actually fully decorated it yet. So that painting is going to go up there at some point. But moving on to the setup here, here it is. It's a very simple setup, but that's how I like it. I've said in videos before, there is going to be some improvements. Like the keyboard and mouse is going to be improved over time and hopefully I'm gonna get a second monitor because this one's really outdated plus I want two monitors who doesn't want a dual monitor setup so it's gonna be good I'm really excited so moving into the setup I'll start with this iPhone box I guess because I've literally recently just bought the brand new iPhone the iPhone 14 Pro Max or whatever it is and I can't tell you how good it is this iPhone I'm recording on it right now and the quality is just insane so I credit the iPhone 14 highly because the quality is really good but moving on again we just got a standard Xbox one here with the Xbox controller I recently re-bought this because Gaming has been really stale right now. I don't play Warzone, I don't really play Fortnite or any of the popular games, so. And where I didn't have a console, some of the old games, like the old Call of Duties, I wanted to play Zombies. I couldn't play that with any of my mates because it wasn't cross-platform. So I went out and bought an old cheap Xbox One so I can go back and play like Black Ops 3 Zombies with some of my friends, because honestly, if you're a Call of Duty player or just a gamer in general, you will back me up here that Black Ops 3 Zombies is something else. It's the best Zombies of all time, so. So I sort of bought this to reminisce in the past, go back and play a load of old games on the xbox one so that's why that's there so i'll start with a mouse mat it's actually a corsair mouse mat and it's like a mini one I, i've had like really big mouse mats in the past but they just they're unnecessary for me so this one is a perfect size for my desk and the keyboard and mouse is actually just a standard PC specialist keyboard and mouse. I got it with my PC and I've had it for about three, four years. So it's definitely time for an upgrade. But for you computer guys out there, this is what it sounds like. Like it doesn't sound the best in the world compared to like a mechanical keyboard. It's literally terrible. For the price you're paying, this sound is somewhat satisfying. You can deal with it. And that's definitely what I'm going to be improving though. The keyboard and mouse, I'm going to get a mechanical one, probably like a Razer keyboard, hopefully. Moving on to the monitor, I've just got an Acer one. It's about three, four years old, so there's no point giving you the specs or what model it is, because to be honest, they probably don't even sell it anymore. But it's lasted a very long time, and to be honest, it's really good. Like, the, the quality of it is really nice. It looks really crisp and clear. I would say the only thing is, if you have a good PC, I would just say this monitor can't really handle, like, really good PCs. Like, mine's a very average or just above average, and the monitor sort of cats at like 120 fps maybe 150 so you're sort of at a disadvantage there because my pc can probably go to like 240 fps on most games but this what this monitor here cats at about 140 so and moving on to the microphone it's actually the blue yeti microphone i've had this thing for about five years i'd say every streamer used a blue snowball and i saw like a little like comparison between the two and this one's a bit more pricey but i would get this one any day because the amount of settings you have on it and just all around it's a really good microphone it really does sound professional it makes your audio sound really good so if you're looking into like making content or especially streaming invest in the blue yeti microphone it's relatively cheap and it's really good then moving on to my headphones i use a dt770 pros these things are the best headphones i've ever used in my life and you've probably seen most youtubers and streamers using these headphones and that's because they are next level they are the best of the best so there's a reason why everyone's picking up these things right now but then moving on to my bedroom so this room's practically just for sleeping in, chilling out every now and then. And the part
apart from that, I'm usually always in my setup. Then over here, we have like the stuff where I just store everything, my water bottle, my wallet, keys. But this lamp, it's really relaxing. When you're trying to go to sleep and when it's pitch black in here, it's so nice. Boom, look at that. When you're trying to sleep at night, pitch black, it's so relaxing. I love all these LED lights. So I have one in the setup and I have another one in here. Just having like these luminous colors when trying to sleep is something about it is so nice. And last but not least, my posters. You're probably used to this, seeing it in all the background of my gaming videos like a few months ago because my setup actually used to be right here. My gaming computer, everything used to be here when this was all my room. Where I moved it all into the other room now, I put my bed here instead. So I used to have my camera there and it would be facing here. So you're probably used to seeing these Syndica posters and this Harry Potter poster. But let me quickly address it. I've loved these posters. I've had them for years because Syndicate, I've been a massive fan of him for probably like seven, eight years. Back in the zombies days, I'm a massive Call of Duty zombies player. So Syndicate's one of the best at that. But anyway, guys, that is my room slash setup tour. I hope a lot did enjoy. And I wanted to share this because even though I haven't got the best setup in the world, I haven't got loads of good equipment. I wanted to show that you don't need all the equipment to make videos. When I was researching for this video, all I was seeing was small streamers and YouTubers with like less subscribers than me having these incredible setups. And I was thinking, you don't need that to make content you don't need that to become a streamer or youtuber i know i'm not a big youtuber by any means but i would like to think that i make somewhat decent quality videos and i just want to show that you don't need all the equipment in the world to do that so so just work with what you got you don't have to get the best cameras in the world the best computers in the world you can start from scratch from literally nothing i started making content literally just with an xbox and the xbox editors and all that anyway thank you guys for watching as always i really do appreciate it like and subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys next time